A scorched reminder in the streets. I'm Danica Lewis. Two people are dead after a car goes up in flames. We'll have the latest on the investigation. A car catches fire and the two people inside are dead. Good evening. I'm Andy Choi. Around 6 o'clock this morning, McFarland Police, Fire and EMS responding to a fire near the intersection of Holsher Road and Prairie Wood Drive. That's where they found a car engulfed in flames. And News 3's Danica Lewis is in with the latest on this investigation. Danica. Well, Andy, it's a strange and scary way to start the new year. Two people die in a burning car and no one seems to know how or why it happened. <laughs> Cones and tape block a section of scorched street, just feet from a neighbor's front yard. A McFarland officer keeps watch. I, I don't know. It's just weird to have it so close by. You can see it all from Tom Dunn's window. And I looked down to the left, and that's when I could see the, like the outline of a car that was smoldering. A burnt license plate, some random pieces of tire. It's all that's left where police found a car engulfed in flames on New Year's morning. Once the fire was out, they found two bodies inside of the car. It's the last thing you would expect to happen. I mean, we don't really ever have, you know, there's never really the police around here or anything like that. It's just really quiet for whatever went on. It's just very unusual. Police don't know why this happened on Holsher Road. They have yet to release the make or model of the vehicle. Right now, they don't know what sparked the fire, and investigators have not said who was in the car. I don't want it to be, you know, uh, anybody's children or whatever like that. I just hope it's not somebody we know. It's a scene Dunn can barely fathom, and one he never wants to see in his quiet neighborhood again. It's very shocking anywhere, shocking here, and then it's just, it's a terrible way to start the new year. Now, I spoke with the McFarland police chief over the phone. He tells me at this point, there's no reason to suspect foul play with this case here. But, Andy, you know, they can all change as this investigation moves forward. So many questions, Danica. You know, are, did the neighbors see anything suspicious while this fire was happening outside? Anything at all? You know what? They didn't even notice it. It's really, it's quite shocking here. The neighbors I talked to actually were woken up by the lights and sirens. One couple living really close to where the car went up in flames said they finally woke up when police knocked on their door so it doesn't really seem like it was an explosion or anything like that but I can tell you something though is very eerie driving into the neighborhood pulling in we actually could smell that smoke still lingering hours after police discovered all of this all right something we will continue to follow Danica thank you